policy and programmatic offerings that are out there and deciding these guys are pursuing a social democratic program I'm an out and out capitalist I believe in the exploitation of men by men and I will not countenance this and so I will go to the BDP isn't a guy entitled to make that call of course he is what can we do in relation to such a guy? We will engage with him and say to him, brother, it is not nice to exploit or be exploited and we'll make our arguments to him. But it ultimately remains for the individual to make the call. And if they decide they want to go to the BDP, we will respect that decision. We will not demonize people who do that. And I think we should, all of us, move away from this tendency to demonize, to regard people as enemies because they stand on the other side of the ideological, political, or whatever other divide there is. So, those who will defect, defect, we'll need to understand the reasons why they defect. Some are promised a lot of money where they are defecting. Somebody asked me, and you know, it's a fair question. They said to me, this is a client I'm representing, he says, look, this is a very, we come to you and give you 30 million pula. I mean, look how much I'm paying you. I'm not even able to afford. Sometimes I don't pay. Do you think you will still be loyal to my cause? I said, yeah, I cannot be bribed. He said, no, but Mr. Bob, that's not, uh, that's not sensible. If they give you 30 million, don't waste your time. Go. <laughs> you know, there's a guy who I'm representing, whose interest I'm fighting for, but here's a guy who appreciates that, hey, if you get a better offer from those that we are fighting, they give you personally 30 million. You'd be a fool, not you? You see, so I think at a at certain levels, our people are economically challenged, they want money, they want all sorts of things, and uh, maybe we're too judgmental when they leave because they are promised. Uh, you know, one of our members of parliament said to me uh, and told a gathering of, of the party that uh, he was invited and a checkbook was placed on the table. The guy who was to sign was sitting here saying, this is how much you get as an ordinary MP. This is the difference between what you get and what you would get if you were a minister. I'm prepared to square you up, give you this difference for the next five years. And if you sign membership application form for my party, I'm signing the check for the difference for the next five years. <laughs> Look, our guys face, you know, Jesus was tried how many times? 40 times. <laughs> how many times are we tried this thing temptation? And we're talking about a guy who looked at this offer and said, it would, it would offend against what I, I believe. And he rejected it. Now you look at him, some look at him and say, what a fool. <laughs> I would have taken it. I'm sure you would have taken it, brothers. But defections are sometimes brought about by some of these considerations. So I think we need to also be fair to the defectors. I expect, and I've said this, and I'm realistic about it, I expect there to be defections from the BNF of those who do not believe in the umbrella, which the majority of BNF members believe in. I also expect there to be defections from the BDP and from the BCP and from males or from any other political formation of those who believe in the umbrella. They will defect and we encourage them to defect. So I've said there will be a realignment. You guys get excited when it's a member of parliament realigning. There are hundreds of people, ordinary members, realigning and joining the umbrella. As with Mr. Mwasa and people. Uh, two weeks ago. And as we parked and we discussed, he, he stood there with about 10 people, explained to them what the umbrella was all about. Some of them were even surprised that some political parties were not part of the umbrella. With them on a continuing basis. And I must say that uh, they are support. You know, when at the height of the strike, I thought these, these workers were militant. I actually cringed at their militancy. Um, and they were in support of the umbrella. Actually, this umbrella is really their idea. Just recently, they held a, a, a workshop at, uh, at Oasis where they invited all the political parties. And I, I, I was there. And I observed the Bofepus. And if I had thought that they were militant during the strike, I don't know what to call what they are now. They are red hot in terms of militancy.
I think they can't wait for the umbrella to take off. And this is this is the, the these are the signals. These are the intimations they've made expressly, clearly, and unequivocally to us. So from that angle, I have not the slightest doubt in my mind that they are in full support. In fact, maybe we fail them, we delay, or these things are not as easy as we had thought. But I think uh, now that we are on course, they are, they are encouraged. But I also want to say this. Anybody to leave with a sense that the umbrella must be supported for, because it's just umbrella. Now it's nice to be umbrella. No. This is a solid, solid project in terms of policy offerings, in terms of its configuration, in terms of the quality of ideas and leadership in terms of the prospects that it has for this country and its people. And it is this argument that I want us to go out there and make as members of the Ambassador. And we, and it is an argument I tell you that is very easy to win against any party out there. So people are going to support the Ambassador because when it comes up and presents itself, it will clearly be credible. It will clearly be responsive to their interests, to their needs. It will, as Mao Zedong sometimes said, they will think, look, these are the ideas I've had. These guys have taken them and are running with them. I must run with these guys. So I think this is what uh, the appeal of the umbrella is going to be in the quality that it offers. And so everybody, not just uh, the workers, who are fully in support. I think even religious organizations, even non-governmental bodies, all sorts of people, ordinary people, are in full support. Teaching on the 8th of September, uh, we've been continually engaging with people, of course, within within our, our, our parties, making them aware and appreciate of what, what is going on. Um, the, the rollout of the umbrella, and you know, we had to deal with the challenges of formalizing registration and, and ensuring there's a structure, there's, 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 there's concept well, when we roll out the concept now, and that's the next stage, uh, we will be presenting to the people in the rural areas and across uh, the vast expanses of this country a credible, solid project. And that is, um, I think Mr. Mubasa is at the head of, uh, of that rollout, and uh, it will begin very soon, immediately after the, after the, after the launch. I think you will begin to see uh, a redefinition of, of, of the way we do politics. So the whole of 2013 you'd be taking 